If you need help creating your own website, Good Insight has you covered. Go to them for all your website creation needs and they'll be able to hook you up with their easy to use interface, supportive staff, and while you're at it, get a 30 day free trial with this promo code. Enter it in when you're registering and you'll be able to get 30 days free. Hey guys, what's up? It's Zenas right here. Today I'll be reviewing the Smart Wallet Pro. Now I know I haven't been on YouTube in a while and that's due to a lot of homework, midterms, and school, but I'm back and I'm going to be doing this review and I hope you guys like it. So let me talk about the Smart Wallet Pro before I get into the review a little bit. So the Smart Wallet Pro is the second iteration of Smart Wallet's line of products. The first one I reviewed was the Smart Wallet and if you guys want to go check it out, I'll have a link for that in the description and maybe an annotation on the screen so you guys can go check that out. I really liked it, it was a great idea, and now they've revamped it, put it on steroids, and it looks even better, sleeker, nicer, and it functions a whole lot better, and this is the Smart Wallet Pro. So let's talk about what the Smart Wallet Pro does. So it's credit card sized, you can put it in your wallet, you can put it in your pocket, and basically what it's meant to do is to track your stuff. So you could put it in a purse, you could put it in luggage, you could put it inside your wallet, you could really put it in anything that this a credit card will fit in. So you put it in there, you sync it up with your phone very easily, you don't even have to click any buttons, it's always just going to be checking and looking and your phone can find it by using the Smart Wallet Pro app. And once you find it, you can see how far away you are from your Smart Wallet Pro, aka anything that your Smart Wallet Pro is attached to. So basically, whatever your Smart Wallet Pro is attached to, you'll be able to see how far away that stuff is from you. You'll get, be able to get alerts. The Smart Wallet Pro can actually ring if you get too far away from it, and it'll do an alert, and it can uh, ring one to five times. You can set the gauge. This thing can also notify your phone and send you push notifications. It can track your usage. Or you can see if you lose your smart wallet or your actual stuff. It can track all that. It has diagnostics and it can keep track of stuff for you. So it's really cool what it does. And all these new parameters is stuff that you've never seen before on the smart wallet or really any other tracker. And the fact that it's so thin and small is great. Now the one thing it doesn't have is GPS. However, I definitely think that everything inside of this can definitely do and suit you well. You don't even need GPS at the moment. So maybe in the future you'll see something with GPS, but for now, I think this is perfect for everybody. So let's talk about the options that are on Kickstarter. So this Smart Wallet Pro launched on Kickstarter, I believe a week ago, or maybe less than a week ago, and currently they have $63,000 backing them. They have 1,295 backers, and since the time I started recording this, and the time that I'm just looking at the page right now, there was a new backer, so they're really popular on Kickstarter, and the Kickstarter community definitely likes them. So they have 42 days to go, and they've reached $63,000. I definitely think they're gonna hit 100K. So I think they're gonna hit 100K, and by the way, that's way past their goal. Their goal was $1,000. I'm not sure if that was just to make people think, oh, their goal is really small, you can fund them, but anyways, they're completely funded. No matter if they get any more funding or not, they're gonna have to do this, and a lot of people are gonna be really happy with their products. So let's talk about what they have. So they had an early bird special for $25. You get the one black Smart Wallet Pro, and the uh, retail price is gonna be $60 in the future, so $25 is a steal. Now you have $29 is the other option you have that currently has 501 backers. Pretty cool, you have one black Smart Wallet Pro and you get that and once again the final retail price of that will be $60. Then you have a $34 option, you can get a black Smart Wallet Pro and a band around it to turn your black Smart Wallet Pro into kind of like a wallet. I wouldn't necessarily say that's a great option, I don't really know how that is. They didn't send me the, uh, the Smart Wallet Pro band but I know that sometimes Putting money around a credit card isn't the best idea. You might want to get a standalone mini wallet or something like that. But anyways, if you want to try that, go ahead. And they have varying options. You have support from less than 40 bucks to things all the way in the hundreds. They have a 9,999 backer option. So you do whatever you want. I will have a link in the description down below for you guys to go check that out. So without further ado, thank you so much to Smart Wallet for sending this out to me. And let's get into the review. So without further ado, let's get into the actual specs of this smart wallet. So on the outside, you can see a micro USB port, and that's for charging this guy. You get several days of battery life out of this if you're going to be using this and then disconnecting it at night and then connecting it in the morning. You can easily charge it, though, so I don't really see a need for you to keep it unplugged or not charge it for several days on end if you're going to be in a civilized environment. And I really don't think you're going to be needing to track your wallet if you're out on a safari in the middle of Africa, so I'm pretty sure most people will have access to a power outlet to charge their smart wallet. Now over here you guys can see that there is a flashing 
gray dot and that is what you're going to use to tell if your phone is out of range or your smart wallet is out of range so it's going to beep and if you purposely ring your smart wallet from your phone that light will go off also you see that black thing right there in the top right I believe that's some kind of sensor I don't really know it was on the previous smart wallet version I'm not too sure what it does all I know is that it's there and it serves some kind of function either way you don't have to do anything to use it it's already going to be working so that's really all you need to know so let's test out how this fits inside of your standard bifold uh, leather wallet. So I have a fossil wallet right here and I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting in there, but you can still get in there. And so it's going to fit. Now on that side, I had two cards in there, so it was a little bit of a tighter fit. But if you put it in one of these pockets, it's going to fit fine. So right there, there was nothing on that side. It fit absolutely fine. You could also put it in these laminated pockets and it's going to work for you too. So as long as you have a relatively wider pocket, something that has a little bit of room in it, you're going to be able to get this to fit in there fine in a leather wallet. Now if you're one of those people that is a fan of wallets that are more minimalistic and more modern, this is also going to fit in there. You might struggle a little bit. Here I have a smart wallet on me and it fit fine in there after just weaseling it in there so it's a little bit difficult and I already had like 10 cards in there which you're not even supposed to do with wallets of this size so I'd say it fits relatively easily in your average minimalistic wallet and it's about the same size as the wallet itself so it does work it's a little bit of a tight fit but you should be fine so what you're gonna do is you're gonna first click the connect button when you first get your smart wallet there's nothing you need to press on the smart wallet itself it will automatically recognize it now as you can see you have a battery life which is a really good thing that they included and it tells you how many days your smart wallet has been with you or something like that I'm not really sure what it says the owner did not explain to me what that means and that, those days fluctuate so I'm not really sure what they do but it gives you a battery percentage which is a good thing so you could change how many times it notifies you if at all it notifies you it can send you push notifications you can choose the intervals, the distance at which it will notify you, and you can uh, just see the ID of your actual device. So you go back here and you can ring your actual smart wallet. You don't have to actually lose it or go far away from it. You can ring it and you, you'll have a flashing thing in the bottom right corner of the smart wallet. And here's the, the part of it that works so well. It is loud, you can hear it. There's not much to it. There's just a blinking little thing. So even if you're a deaf person, you will still be able to find it because it can tell you the distance you are from your smart wallet. And then the closer you get, it's like you get hot or cold. And if you're if you're close to it, you'll be able to see how close you are. And then you can just generally look around for it. Once you're within five feet of it, it shouldn't be that hard to find it unless it's under a couch or something like that. So it's pretty easy how this works. They have a couple other functions on here, like choosing when it won't alert you and specific times. But other than that, it's a pretty simple problem. Process, and I think this is a great idea that they revamped the entire app. So at this point I want to give you guys a quick demo as to how the meter works and how they can judge a distance but bear with me a moment and just pay attention to the battery life at this point. As you can see it's fluctuating very strangely. Just a couple minutes ago when I was using this it was at 22%, now it's at 24% and then it was at 25% and then back to 24%. So I'm not really sure what it's doing and this meter is a little bit strange as well because I'm getting further and further away from it yet it shows you that I'm getting closer to it. So it's kind of strange but in the end it gets more precise the closer you are to it. And as you can see also the battery life is a little bit screwy. So the app is still a little bit buggy or maybe that's not even the app that maybe just be the smart wall itself. I'm not sure what's really wrong with this. All I know is that it's a little bit screwy and there is some lag in terms of it. But right here you can see I just set the smart wallet down and then it reset itself back to zero. So there's a bit of a lag, but other than that, it works pretty well. So at this point, I just want to give you guys a comparison between the original smart wallet and the new smart wallet. So as you can see, the original smart wallet comes in two colors. It comes in black and white. So the black color you see right here, it's considerably smaller. It's almost the same length, but it is not as, as wide as it. So it's clearly smaller, but it looks more convenient, but actually it's not. Because on the back of it, it has a clip. So that clip prevents you from putting it in an actual credit card size pocket. It requires you to clip it onto the pocket and that's where some of the issues were on the original version where it could fall out relatively easily, especially on modern wallets. So as you can see right here, it's a lot thicker. It's not as long and it's not as wide as the Smart Wallet Pro, but it is a lot thicker and that was the problem where it didn't fit any, in any credit card pocket. And if you could see all the way in the middle of that Smart Wallet original version, there's a little bit of a tab and that's the actual clip. You'll be able to see it a little bit clearer on the white version. 
And as you can see, this is probably not the best design, and it's a great thing that they changed it. So now onto the white version, which you see right here. Here you can clearly see the clip. But what I really want to show emphasis on right here is the fact that this was screwable. You could change the different types of tabs you had. You could change it from a clip to a keychain to all that stuff. There's not as much accessorizability, I guess, on the new Smart Wallet Pro. It's just one standard form. You can't really change it. But one thing to point out on this was that there was a button on this original Smart Wallet. And what that allowed you to do was to ring your phone in case you lost your phone but still had your smart wallet. That's something you can't do with the new Smart Wallet Pro. With the new Smart Wallet Pro, there's no buttons on the Smart Wallet Pro, so you can't ring your iPhone if you lose your iPhone. The great thing about the original Smart Wallet was that if you lost your phone, you could find your phone by ringing it with your Smart Wallet. And if you lost your Smart Wallet, you could find it by ringing your, it with your phone. So that was the big difference that really was the game changer for me. And that's why I'm a little bit upset that that wasn't included on the newer version. But anyways, onto this. You can see that the speaker grill on the original version is a lot larger than the seemingly absent speaker grill on the newer version. And this isn't just aesthetics, it was actually a lot louder. And because it was a lot louder, that made it a lot easier to find your smart wallet if you lost it. And that means that you'll be able to find the stuff that it's attached to a lot easier. So that was the game changer for me. And that's why I think they took a lot of steps forward, but also took a lot of steps back with this new smart wallet. And that was a little bit upsetting. So by now you should have a pretty good opinion as to whether or not this is for you. In summation, I think this is a really good product, it's just that I'm unhappy because I am aware of the previous version, which was basically, it didn't even have that many sales, it was basically like a prototype. So the previous version, I'm not sure I can be fair in saying that that it sucks compared to this because that version was uh, was very good, it was, it was really good. And there were some flaws, but there were some things that that previous version had that this version doesn't have at all. And granted, the previous version was really kind of their first model and definitely they're still learning. I mean, it's kind of strange that what your second model has, it doesn't do as well as your first model does. So that's the thing that's a little bit annoying to me. Now, otherwise, this is a great product. It's credit card sized finally, which is a great thing. The previous one wasn't credit card sized. This one now is. And to be honest with you guys, if you didn't know a first version existed, you'd probably be happy with this. It's just that I, from a reviewer's perspective, I know everything about this. I've seen the first versions. I've talked with them about the prototypes. I've seen it from its inception. So I know everything that's going on with this. And that's probably just why I'm so pessimistic about the fact that it doesn't have as many features as the original one did. But anyways, if you're new to this and you only need something to keep track of your stuff, this is great. It's loud. It's not as loud as the previous one, but it is loud. You'll be able to hear it. You can definitely find your stuff, put it in your luggage, put it in your purse, put it on your dog if you want to. You can track anything. The great thing about this now is that you can set times for it not to bother you, like in the middle of the night or during class. You can also set different things such as the distance, the intervals, if you want push notifications, and if you choose yes, what kind, how many, when, that's great. And I think this is a great option. And the fact that you can finally now see a meter telling you how far away you are, not direction, but how far away you are from your smart wallet and anything the smart wallet is attached to is one of the greatest features about this because on the previous one, you'd hear it ringing. But on this one, you can actually see distance. Sure, it's not the real time distance because it is a little bit laggy, but eventually you wait and stop a little bit, that thing is gonna give you an accurate measurement. And the great thing about this too is if someone is stealing it from you, you'll be able to see if it's getting further away from you, which is a great thing to have. So I think all of these compiled together, all these different characteristics and features combined together is what really makes this a great product. They will be selling it later for $60, which is not a bad price for basically something that will ensure you don't lose your stuff. And your stuff could be worth a lot more than $100, probably over $200 if you're someone that likes to carry a good amount of money in their wallet and their credit cards. So I'd say if you really care about your identity and you care about keeping your cards on you, you should invest in one of these. It's credit card sized, maybe a tiny bit thicker than your average credit card, but it's definitely worth the investment if you're very afraid of someone taking your stuff and then using it to do bad things. So I think this is a great product if you're looking for that or you just want to keep track of your stuff. So yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll have a link for this, the original one, all everything in the description down below. Thank you so much to Smart Wallet for sending this out to me. This has been a review of the Smart Wallet Pro and I'm pretty pleased with this product. So yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.